This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. We welcome you here to the historic Lake Clifton campus. And the Mars Die here with you for this matchup of high stakes here. In the Baltimore City Division One, it's the Poly Engineers with a record of two and two. The two-time defending 3A champions against the Lake Clifton Lakers on a record of five and zero. Oh. The defending 2A champions, which is now in 1A, as they'll be seeing Dunbar, of course, here one of the city rivals, down the line. Tip off, about to hit, and the Engineers, whoo, almost had a violation there. Raheem Ali. The hero the other day against St. John's as he gets it back now against the two sport athlete. Lewis inside, blocked in the middle. Lewis still has it. A variety of Lakers in there, at least four. And the ball will be going to the Lakers off the turnover. Good defense there, Coach Tree. Herman Herrett, been doing it for many years. And son a part of this Lake Clifton tradition now and coach Sam Brand establishing as Gray tipped and missed to start all the balls out of bounds and the ball is going to stay with the Lakers coach Sam Brand and the Pali engineers establishing greatness inside the Gray he puts it in for the first points of the game Laughing inbounded over to Ali. Polly had a forfeit to start the season. As Walker puts it up, that one tipped and missed. That's for Wallace, excuse me. And back over to Gray as he brings it up. Very good in football, Michael Gray. Obviously, his basketball skills is about the same as he kicks it back. That's a three. That one tipped and missed there by Tiggle. Ball coming back up for the Engineers. Spin move. Oh, what a pass from Ali. And he gets it in there to Walker for the two. We are tied at two here at Lake Clifton. Drive up is Harris. Back over to Hammett inside. Offensive oh, foul, a charge. And the ball back to Polly. So Walker will inbound here. The Lakers outside of their matchup in D.C. against Dunbar of D.C. Has not really seen a challenge this year. They've been able to dominate their opponents. As well, but this one today we know will not be like that. Ali missed it front. Had to handle. Lost it out of bounds. And the Lakers will get it back. Early chess mate between these two coaches. In this Division One matchup, Patterson and Atmanson going on at the same time as well, and the winners of those games will be the two top teams right now in the Baltimore City Division One. Hermit drives, pulls up, and that one didn't go. Justin Lewis with the rebound, straight pass forward. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Not getting the rebound there. Tiggle got it for the Lakers. Gray brings it up, pulls up, and that one tipped and missed. And Lewis grabs another board to Ali. Transformation of Rye over the last couple years, he has looked magnificent. Lewis showing his long range, that one tipped and missed. Walker with the offensive rebound. That's a three from Ali, that one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound to Lewis. That one went over the basket, didn't go. And Aaron Hermit gets the rebound. Timeout by the Lakers. And a little less than three minutes in this one so far. And it's a tied two game here in this stalemate. And the Lakers, when they have played Polly the last couple of years, have really slowed the tempo down. The engineers, similar to Patterson, likes to get down the court and run. And the Lakers know the one thing they can do to stop that is to slow that down and able to get it done there. It's 
So out the timeout. The Lakers will get it. Again, we are tied at two between these two teams here. Packed house here at Lake Clifton. People still coming on down. We love it. We know that when these two get together, it's always a packed one. And there's going to be a lot of matches this year in the city that's going to be huge. And this is one of them. Harris pulls up. Air ball. Tried to save it as Tiggle, and it didn't go. And Polly will get it back. Engineers have a game with St. Maria Goretti before the holidays. And then they really step it up in January, including the matchup against Patterson. We will be there for that one. And Patterson and Lake Clifton will have real great rematches. Well, that one drove inside. That didn't go. Lewis up and puts it in. Lewis is looking for a foul call. He didn't get it. And the two-time defending 3A champs is up on the defending 2A champion by two. Gray and a foul is called. First team foul against the Engineers. As this one has been a battle so far. We expected that between these two teams. So Harris brings, Harris brings it up. Back over as Gray drives, pulls up. That one hits the back of the board. That one didn't go from Harris. Rebound over to Walker. Lewis stripped from under. And the ball will stay with Polly. Good defense by the Lakers so far. Not letting the engineers get inside. Lewis, though, using his body. And he's coming up to shoot a pair. A two-shot foul coming up here for Justin Lewis, the sophomore. Excuse me, the, the junior which has a lot of schools coming his way. First shot here. No good. Second shot coming up here to give the engineers a three point advantage. Got it. So Harris doubled in the corner. Had to force it up and force the turnover. Ali pulls up and hits. 7-2 game for Polly. And mail back over to Harris. Harris behind his back. Puts it up and got the roll. That was a nice exchange there as Ali brings it up. Looking over to Walker. Inside. Foul is called. And two shots coming up here for Amani Walker. As you know, will not be foul shots. It was before the act of shooting. It's Latham inbounds. That's it. Three hits it there by Ian Wallace. And a foul against Polly. Second team foul against them. Joe Hammond inbounds the ball. Back over to Harris. Brings it up, Harris against Ali. Kicks it back over. The drive. Missed the bounce. Rebound over to Walker. Here comes Polly. Airmail. Back over. Lewis. Wallace for three. Hits it. Nine point lead. For the, for the defending 3A champs. And I believe we have an and one two with it. In and 
out. Hammett brings it up. Hammett looks to pass. He did. Now another three chance. That was a air ball. Offensive rebound goes in. Hughes, the junior. Zip pass up the court. Back over to Ali. He's open for three. Hits it. The same jumper that beat St. John's on Saturday. And it's a 10-point game for Polly. Gray steps back for three. That didn't go. Hemmer with the offensive rebound. Second chance, a jump ball they call. I believe the Lakers will keep it with 17 seconds on the shot clock. 2.06 here left in the first quarter. What a matchup indeed between these two. Change the east-west battle. Crossover. Offensive foul. The ball back to Polly. A lot of folks here to see this one in the high school ranks. Goes, goes Bob Wade. The St. Francis staff is here. He's been a huge supporter of Polly over the last several years. And let me add him. He's here too. Everybody's here for this key Division I matchup. Swings it. Wallace for three again. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound. And Pope there was Amani Walker. But a foul, I believe, will be called as well. The Lakers already have 16 fouls. They get one more. And Polly will be shooting the one and one. And, and this state, that is huge because we're not even in the second quarter yet. Tim Brown is coming in for Amani Walker. Latham will inbound for Powell. Back over, Ali alone. That one tipped and missed. Tried to get the tip in. No good, Ali got his own rebound back. That's a three from Wallace, and he hits it again. Third three of the quarter is a 19-6 game. And for Lake Clifton right now, they gotta get things in check. And the hurry. The big fella. Haven't seen a lot of him yet. Harris doubles. Back to Gray. Gray drives. Drove actually over Lewis. Pulls up and it tipped and missed the rebound over to Ali. We are down to seconds here left in the first. Ali kinks it. Lewis for three. Got stuck. Three. Uh, I guess somebody got to get the ball, right? 49.9 left. Substitution's coming in. Ali's going to take a breather. English comes in for him. So Polly will retain possession. Most of the time when a ball like that happens, it usually goes to the opposite team. But I guess in this instance, the engineers keep it. 19 seconds here on the shot clock. 49.9 left on the game clock. Back over. Tip. Lewis gives it up to English. Lewis with another chance. Back over to English again. Swings it over. Inside. Kicks it back over to Justin Lewis. Got it. his pocket took in a shot clock violation. Good defense again by the Lakers. 27.2 left shot clock is off. And the Lakers desperately need to get the ball in the basket right now. At least the end of the court. St. Francis yesterday, by the way, as we're taping this on Monday. Big win in New York City, a one-point win. 11-1 is St. Francis looking good. Top-ranked teams here in the state. Kicks it back over. Got to do something with it here. 9-8, Hemet got it! Hits it on, this is two. And 
a foul as well. And one is there. Like we said before, Dunbar needed, excuse me, Lake Clifton needed that one and they got it. Get an extra point, they can cut this lead to nine. Brown have not had an impact yet in the game. He's going to take a seat. Got it. So 6.2 left here in the quarter. Lewis inbound straight over. Got to put it up. At the buzzer. No good. And that's the end of the quarter. So after one... The defending two-time 3A champions up on the defending 2A champions at Clifton, 19-9 here as the second quarter begins. A flurry of points there for Polly. And the key one was Iron Wallace hitting several threes and really giving the engineers a cushion. But again, Lake Clifton is within nine. And I think their defense has been excellent especially against Justin Lewis who only has two points have really kept him off the board so far second quarter about to begin here thank you for watching the Die Sporting Network and hope you subscribe to the channel now appreciate the views a lot of views so far this year Definitely appreciate it, indeed. So, Lake Clifton will get the ball as Tickle, the senior, will inbound over the gray. And they get it going. And we got to retry. Gray has it now. Against Ali. It's a matchup a lot of people have been wanting to see. Pick City by Ali. Spins out of that. Ali though lost his footing. A jump ball is called. And let's see which way the referees say it. Polly's going to retain. I don't think either team knew who, who had uh, inbound the ball. As Lindsay will be the one to inbound for Polly. <laughs> Buffery still getting together, trying to get the clock right. <laughs> Lindsay and Polly. Thought the big fella there was going to get it. Did not. Tapped. Kicks it back over to Ali. Ali. And an offensive foul. The ball back to Lake Clifton. And they can cut the lead to single digits here. Gray brings it up. A drive, spin move, and spin out. Wow, Justin Lewis with the rebound. It's number four for him. Up in the air to Ali. Ali off the screen. Still keeping it near the top. Driving to the hoop, and a foul. Foul is called. 17 foul against Lake Clifton and the one and one is in effect for the Poly Engineers. First shot. In there. Walker back in the game. Tim Brown steps back up. Oh, 
Second shot here. The engineers, by the way, in their road uh, blue and orange jerseys. That second one tipped and missed. Brown with the rebound. Back over. The tickle, and then now Hammond with the ball. The screen. That's a three from Hammond. No good. Offensive rebound by Brown. Not in the position he wanted to be. Hammond kicks it back. Shot clock. Got to go fast. Two. One. Gray. At the buzzer. That one tipped and missed. And somehow they, the Lakers get it back in a fresh shot clock. Back over. Hit a Gray from Harris. That's a three. Ah, oh, right off the iron. Missed it. Ali and Polly. Woo, right pass, Gray. Pull up jumper. That one tipped and missed. Lewis was trying to tip it in. And to no avail. The Lakers get it back. So as we said again, the defense of the Lakers have been able to keep them in the game. Because offensively, the bucket has not went in the basket so far. And the Lakers, like I said, in the early gun, ain't used to that. They're able to dominate their opponents by driving and shooting the basketball. Gray inside on the deck. We have a jump ball situation, and Lake Clifton will keep it. Back inside, Brown got stripped, and Walker got fouled. Walker will take that extended walk up the court, shooting a one and one. 18 foul against the Lakers. First shot, back on miss, and their offensive rebound. That's a three, spin out on him. Gray gets it off the rebound. Inside off the glass and in, Michael Gray the third. Dropping the two in. And it's a nine point lead, 20 to 11, as Ali brings it up. Takes it back over. Inside to Lewis. Lewis with positioning, and he puts the two in like he's. Gray with it now, bringing it up. Gray drives off the floater. That one tipped and missed. Trying to fight for the ball, and Ali gets it for Polly. Fast break, the numbers in favor of the engineers. Lewis steps back, drives to the hoop and puts it in. Justin Lewis strikes again. And the ball will stay with the Lakers there. Increase the lead got down to nine. Two straight buckets from Polly has increased the lead back to 13. Biggest lead for the engineers now. Harris brings it up. The Lakers in their white home jersey. Side. That one goes. That one goes. How about Hughes there with another bucket for him? About the halfway point here in the second quarter. It's a 24-13 affair. Ali. Back over. Lewis. Got a mismatch on him. He had a double team. Walker back to Ali. Inside to Lewis. Kicks it over to Anthem. It back over again to Lindsay. Back over to Ali. Shot clock at one, and he turned it right over. Back comes Gray. Gray pulls back, goes inside now, forces the action, and it'd be shooting up here. 
Lake Flipton faithful down with that one. As the two free throws can cut the lead back tonight. Check out the Die Sporting Network this week. This matchup, Patterson and Edmondson and City and Patterson coming your way. As Gray missed the first. Next week, of course, going to have try to have a couple games for you that was played in the month of December. We will have definitely one St. Francis against Riverdale Baptist down in the Gonzaga Classic earlier this month. And of course, we'll be back in January, huge with the Baltimore Hoops Festival, January the 5th. Here on the Dice Money Network. As one of two was hit. Ten point game. And Ali brings it up. Back over to Walker. Swings over. Ali got it. From English. Ali. Walker. Walker drives to the hoop. And he's shooting up here. 19 foul here against Lake Lifton. Coach Nicholas Miles and company here at St. for the St. Francis crew. So Walker will add the line. First shot. Got it. Pushes lead back to 11. 25 14 game. Second shot coming up here for Pollard. It's Brown back in the game for the Lakers. Got it. So both of them goes down. 26 to 14 affair. Harris has it. Come against Lindsay. I see that's English, excuse me. That one didn't go. Tried to get it. It was everywhere. The Lakers somehow get it back. Double team. Gray has it now. Gray against Ali. Dish. And a foul against Polly. 16 foul. That was a nice dish. One more. And the engineers will be giving the Lakers the one and one Shot clock is reset. Brown. And Gray has it now. Gray looking to do something with it. Gray drives. And he turned it over. Ali is all alone. And he lays the two in just like that. 228 left, 14 point game. Polly has doubled up on Lake Clifton. <laughs> Foul. And the one on one is in effect now for Lake Clifton. One one. One one. Latest episode of Flex on right for the holidays. Give you sports how you want it when you need it. Schedule guest Ty Rice, uh, the old engineers when he's up at WEAA. Flex on Wise and 10 p.m. every Monday, Facebook Live on the Flex Zones Facebook channel and WBGL Sports Network as well. First shot goes in. That's off there. Gray and Walker had a little body exchange there. And they literally rolled on the other side of the court near the referee. Oh, technical, Gray and Walker. 
And I would say both guys got to contain themselves. Got to contain themselves here. Again, we know there's some history in this basketball game between these two teams. Side's been worn there. Happens again. Somebody's going to get ejected big time. West spot on that side of the floor where the many tussle happen. Got it. 12 point advantage. As Walker inbounds over to Lewis, then he swings over to English. English with the ball. Lewis now, because him it. Lewis pulls up, and that one tipped and missed, but the ball rebounded back to Latham. English from downtown. He hits it. And it's a 15 point lead now for Polly. The defending two-time 3A champions trying to make a three-peat. Back to Comcast. Hammond inside blocked by Walker and a foul is called. So that's two shots coming up here. 139 here left in the half. Half when Polly has done enough to increase the lead. He may be the first one to take that been as sharp as they would like to be as that first one goes. Tim Brown back in the game. Walker's coming on out. Second shot here to try to cut this lead here. Down to 13. And here it does. Ali from Brown with the, the ball. Raheem Ali swings it. That's a three. That hits again for English. And he has gotten hot here in the second quarter. 34-18 game. Looking good here. There's English. Damn it. And he turned it over. You see, my apologies, did not turn it over. It was pressure defense. One of the engineers tapped it out of bounds. Over to Gray. So he does with it now, him and Ali again going at it. Gray pulls up. That one goes in. Got the roll. Got the roll. 14 point advantage. Engineer showing athleticism and versatility. It's Ali against Gray. Ali back over, try to pass. And the ball was out of bounds when he got the pass. 48.0 seconds left, and it is the Lakers basketball down by 14. Hermit pulls up for three. That one tipped and missed. On the rebound over to Ali and Polly. Bringing it up. Crossover. Swing pass inside. Lewis was looking to throw it down, but instead he's going to be shooting two with the shot clock off at 24.3 left. So a two-shot foul here coming up for Justin Lewis, the highly recruited forward. Here at Pollard. First shot. That one missed. Trying to increase the lead back to 15. Second shot, bounce. Balls everywhere. Brown was looking for it and the ball looked like it's gonna stay with Powell. 
And the referees are warning both sides again. There's going to be a technical foul here. And a timeout by Polly. Both sides trying to ease the blood pressure here in this rivalry game between these two teams. Once again, check out BKD-TV, the website where sports lives. Check out NFL news and other news coming your way. BKD, BKD, excuse me, Dash TV. It is a website where sports lives. We have to come back at you now. In this one, the Lakers trying to get it going right before the half. By far, their lowest scoring total here of the first half this season. So, back to game action. Ali inbounds. Lewis back to Ali. We got it back from Lindsay. Back over again. Five, four, three. Justin Lewis pulls up from three. And that one tipped and missed. And that's the half. So at halftime, the engineers of Pali up 34 to 20. And we'll be back with the second half of this one here on the Dice Play Network. You stick and stay right here. Second half. second half is about to get on the way. And the Lake Clifton Lakers defending 2A champions. Down to two time defending 3A champions. Uh, rivals are Poly Engineers as Togo threes it and spins it in. How about that? Cuts the lead to 11. A good sign for the Lake Clifton Lakers. Ali brings it out. Lewis kicks it back over. Ali drives and he traveled. Ball back to the Lakers and they can cut the lead down to single digits here if they can get a field goal for draw foul. And the active shooting runners. Gray brings it up. Pull up jumper. That one tipped and miss. Rebound to Walker and then over to Ali. Here comes Lewis. And he lays it in. Made it look so easy there. And put the two home. 36-23. And leave for the engineers. Hammett from the top of the key. He's shooting three. First team foul against Pally here in the second half. First shot here, in and out. Second shot coming up here, got it. And one more to go. Two or three. Trust the lead to nine. And the Lakers have not been able to get as close to nine since the early 
part of the first quarter. See that changes now. Lewis kicks it. That's a three. That one backs off. Three on two fast break. Nice cut to Gray. And he's coming out to shoot a pair. Gray landed a little hard. It looked like he will be all right. Props to the Lakers here. Dictating the pace here early in the third. First shot. Got it. Trying to get that lead back to nine. And dust. 27-36 game. English has it now for Pollard. Inside to Walker. Walker swings it to Lewis and he's fouled before the entry pass. First team foul against the Lakers. Ali back over to Walker, back to Ali. Eighteen on the shot clock for Walker. Walker drives and he's fouled. And two shots see it coming out for the engineers. Both teams with two fouls each. Sam Brand with a power he has made Polly. Last four years, the engineers has been in it in 3A. And you know, Coach Herm Tree Heron has just about done it all. Won most class championships. 3A, 2A, and 1A as well. And that one goes as well for Walker. 10 point lead back. Gray coming up the court, swings it and lost it. It was tapped, so the Lakers will keep it. Inbounds, Till back to Harris. Back over. Damn it. Fade away. No good. And offensive rebound to Harris. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound to Brown. And a shot clock violation. Shot clock should have re reset it. Shot clock should have reset. Lakers will keep it due to the shot clock not being reset. The referees are getting together to try to rectify that. See some time be put back on the clock here. Not on the shot clock, but on the actual clock. So the shot clock is down to 20 for the Lakers. Out of bounds. It's going to stay with Lake Lefton. Gray. Drive pulls up over English. And oh, it didn't roll in. Rolled out. They say the eye was not kind there. English from Walker. Lewis all alone, spins, give it up to Walker, and delivers. Hey, 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 
Harris. As they set it up here. Harris has Lewis on him. Woo! What a fake there! And a three! That one tipped and missed. Out of bounds. Polly will get it back. Nice fake out. That was only half of the job. We couldn't get the other half in. Walker back over to Ali as he brings it up for Polly. Engineers and Lakers both undefeated in city play. That one didn't go where he wanted. Drive inside, out of bounds. Ball back to Lake Clifton. This would have been Polly's third city divisional game, but it was only their second. They had to forfeit against Digital Harbor due to off-season practice situation. Drive up, Harris, off the glass and in. Yes, sir, a 10-point game again. Four minutes here left in the third. English. Back over. Ali. Lewis now. Lewis fakes. Lewis drives. Blocked from Brown. And then back over comes Lakers. Here comes Gray. This is it back to Brown and he lost it. Back over the other way is Lewis. Lewis back. Lays it in. Justin Lewis lays up. And a timeout by the Lakers. Three twenty-eight left. Clip, clip, clip. Lake Lipton fought the hand in this change that would have hugely helped them, but it did not. And Polly able to take advantage and Justin Lewis, you know, when he gets an open space, it's usually a layup or a dunk. It's been kind today. He hasn't chunked the ball yet. So, going to get you some girls action in the new year. Looking at St. Francis and Archbishop Spalding on the Eyes Funny Network. Coming up, and of course, we at the Basketball Academy. Going to try to get some girls in there as well. How about St. Francis Pilate on the girls' end? They have really looked good. And we're going to get them down the road against one of the newest members of the IAMA conference, and that's the Institute of Notre Dame. Later on here in the season in January here on the Dice Rolling Network. Busy Muff. Right now as Hemet goes inside. Reversal didn't go. And Lewis gets the rebound. Up and over to Ali. Ali alone. Count the basket and one. Gray with a foul. Trying to stop the basket. And Ali took advantage of it. Got the end one to rattle in. 44-29 affair. Back over comes Chuggo. And he lost it on the floor. Lewis grabs it for Polly. Ali swings it back over to Walker. And he throws it down. And one more. The engineers really getting to their offensive game plan now. and one. I'll tell you right now, Polly's athleticism, I think, is taking over this game. The Lakers defensively had a better grip of, of this one in the first half than now. And that's what Polly can do to you, especially when you get down by more than 10. Got it. So the lead now is to 18. Gray is fouled. I think the foul is going to go against Latham. Go 
Gray coming out for Davis. 257 left in this one, an 18 point advantage, biggest lead for Polly. They have been able to get out in transition and really open this game up for them. Drive. Lost it. Hammett, though, got it back and uh, spent out on him. Offensive rebound to Harris. Back over to Brown, back over to Hammett at the top. Him against Ali. Pull up jumper. That one tipped and missed two. Rebound over to Lindsay. And then now Ali has it and he brings it up. And a foul against Harris. Ball is going back to Lake Cliff. I think it was a foul in Polly. That's the engineer's third team foul. Harris back over to Davis. Harris behind the back of foul. Four team foul against Polly. 212 left in this one. In the historic Lake Clifton Campus Gymnasium. Been here over the years on the Dice Money Network. Many key contests, key playoff games. And some neutral site games here as well. Inside, caught the basket and one by Hammond. So the and one coming up. Hammond's only missed one at the line here in this one so far. 2.06 left. Got it. 15 point advantage. As English brings it up. Walker. Ali drives with first, so no good. Lewis scores in the air with the rebound. English for three. That one tipped and missed. Walker looking to get it, and he does. Did he step out, though? No. Timeout. Timeout by Polly. With 141 left. And it's going to be five seconds left on the shot clock. Wow, that's a timeout call. As we thought, a 30 second timeout by the engineers. Referees with a lot of pressure on her to keep this one in check. Like I said a year ago, it was stopped. But the Lakers getting credit for the win. And one of the ones I know the engineers mocked on their calendar to come back to. So, 30 seconds done. Back to game action. The engineers will have five seconds on the shot clock to get something happening here. As Ali, like he's going to inbound. I would say Ali up to Walker or a pass to Justin Lewis. Despite the antidote you're going to see here.
So, shot clock has been added an extra 10 seconds to 15. So, Ali. And a foul off the ball against Polly. And the Lakers catch a break there and they get the ball back. Looking for the steal, didn't get it. Paris has it now. And brings it up for the Lakers. Hemet drives inside and he's coming up to shoot two again. So at the 91 second mark of the third quarter, Aaron Hammond, son of coach Tree Hammond, Lake Lumpkin, and coming to shoot two. First shot. In and out. By the way, that's Polly is Kylie uh, Clifton now in the one on one. Tuck inside here. Got it. So one of two. Still a 14 point advantage. Swings it back over inside. And a foul. Fifteen foul against the Lakers. And Justin Lewis at the line shooting up here. First shot, not there. One twenty-four. He left in the third. Second shot here. In and out too, so both of them did not go. Hammett pulls up, caught it at one! Aaron Hammett, the senior, trying to keep the Lakers in this one. Receive the basket. We'll count. And one in and out. Ali with it now. Brings it up here for Powell. Lee against Harris. Ali off the screen. Kicks it back over. Inside. And the ball tapped out of bounds as it's going over. And the Lakers get it back. A 12 point advantage here for Polly. The Lakers have not been able to get as close the nine to the deficit. Double team and a foul. So the one and one. And in the fourth quarter, it's going to be some free throw shot in this one. 59.1 left. First shot, got it. Second shot here, got that one. So it's a 10 point lead for Polly. As Lindsay has it down. Drive to the hoop, pull up jumper, no good. Over to Herrett, they can cut the lead to single digits. Herrett for three, that's the air ball. Back comes Ali, Ali drives. And a foul off the ball against the Lakers. 16 foul, shot clock and game clock, seven seconds apart. And one more. The Lakers will be shooting. Excuse me, the, the engineers will be shooting the one-on-one. -on -one. one more foul against Polly, and it's going to be double bonus time, so we're going to see 
and said the free throw line become a big factor in the quarter. Lindsey kicks it back over. Inside, foul is called. Lewis shooting two. 23.5 left here in the quarter. Shot clock is off. Lewis has not been good at the line today. And that one continues it. So Lewis shooting again. It's a two shot foul. That one missed. It's not been the junior's afternoon at the line. Here it doubled. Gives it up to Tuggle. Still double. Back over to Hammond. Inside. Got it. Got it in there. All of a sudden, it's an eight-point game. That's a three for my lead. Hits it. Just like he did against St. John's on Saturday. How about that after three? It's a 50, 39 advantage. 11 point lead, we're gonna rise this up for you a little bit. point lead. The next time you will see myself at a game, it will be the new year. January 5th. Hoops Festival here on the High 20 Network. But until then, we still got City and Patterson for you. Coming up here on this coming weekend. And as well as some action next week. We're going to go back and talk about the Gonzaga Classic. Got the matchup of St. Francis and Riverdale back. Got some other stuff in the works for you as well. And we might save it for some JV action as well as you, the season branching on in that field as well. So, Dodge Money Network coming at you. It is your home for sports action here in the Maryland area. Right now, in this one though, people's been action. And this one is good as advertised right now. So here in the fourth. And Latham is going to inbound it out. Back over to Ali. Back over to Lewis. Lewis pulls up. Front end miss. And a foul. And that means two free throws here for Togo. Coming up to the other end of the court. So two shots here for Togo. Trying to get this lead back to single digits again. They had it to eight. Had a lead with the clutch three. To pull it up to 11 after her first shot did not go. And for Lake, the Lakers, free throw shots is going to be huge here in this fourth quarter if they want to get this win against Pilate. Again, we welcome you to Mars Tide with you. Happy holidays to you. Seen this here in the holiday season in December. Second shot goes. So one of two for Tuckle. It's a 10 point advantage as Ali has the basketball now. And 
Ellie drives, kicks it back over, Lewis inside, and he's coming up to shoot two. That's been a good news for Justin Lewis. Like I said, the bad news though, the free throws have not been hitting for him. That's the 18th foul against the Lakers here in the quarter. Actually in the half, excuse me. And the referee's been keeping a tight leash on that one. That one goes there for Lewis. He hits the first. 51-40 game here. Second shot here coming up. And now. One of two. Fast break up the court inside. Two shots. Two shot foul for Gray. As I said again, the fouls is going to be an issue coming into this one. Into the fourth quarter, that is. First shot, got it. Second shot here coming up. Got it. Both shots go. And it's a 10 point game again. Ali. Sandwiched in there. Swings it. That's a three from Wallace. No good. Offensive rebound to Lewis. Got the finish. Justin Lewis, of course, making it look so easy. Back the other way comes Hammett and the Lakers. Drive inside. Going up against Lewis. That one didn't go. Justin Lewis with the rebound. Brings it up the court. Over. Ali swings it. And a finish. Right there to Ian Wallace. 56-42 affair. And a foul. And Gray at the line shooting a bear. And Michael Gray coming back up to the line to shoot two. Yeah, so the free throw shooting will be an issue. As the Lakers are in the double bonus from Polly. Two more fouls from the Lakers to give Polly that same advantage as well. First shot, got it. Second shot here. Cut this lead to 13. Does. One of two. As Ali got it from Wallace from the inbound. Ali. Takes him, bakes him, front end miss. Back over comes the Lakers and Michael Gray. Gray against English. Gray winds up and he turned it over. Back comes Ali. Counted it one more. Second time in the half. The Lakers have fall for that M. One, and when Ali gets in that open space, he can get to the hole in the hole. And one goes in. 59-44. And every time the Lakers get within striking distance, they've not been able to get over. That's another turnover. Back comes Lindsey, all the way to the basket and in. And again, 17 point lead. 
for the engineers. And that's a time out there. I think by the Lakers and 6.05 left in this one. This one has been a tight one, but the Polly has had several runs and they've even increased that lead back and every time the Lakers fight to get it within nine or eight points, Polly turns that key up a little more and puts it up some more points. We'll see both teams down the road in January when they both play Pally. Excuse me, when they both play Patterson. Patterson comes back to Lake Clifton. He said he was here two years ago for that amazing game from off Price. We got introduced to him. Pally and Patterson's rivalry go back to the last couple of seasons. Last year wasn't as much because of injuries from Patterson, but they are a healthy bunch this year. And like I said, we see both of these teams going up against Patterson down the road in January. But right now, the Lakers got a stage to come back now. If they want any shot of this one. Damn it. That was a tough predicament he put himself into. Lindsay back over to English. Oh, Lewis is looking to finish the job. He gets it back and slams it down with one hand. We said earlier he was being nice, but not there. Lead back to 19 for Polly. Davis, got to do something with it, and another timeout by the like Shot clock at 15. So it's a 19 point advantage with five or six left. to game action. Gray has it. Swings it over to the other side of the court. Side is Hughes. Second chance from Hughes. Got to put it back on the deck. Shot clock violation. Spin there from Lindsay. Back over to Walker. Side to Lewis. Got it in there. And now Justin Lewis dominating the inside. 21 point lead for Polly. The engineers pulling away. He's defending 3A champions two times. Back court. He's gonna get some revenge here against Lake Clifton. Like I said, the Lakers score won't tell you to fight from the Lakers in this game. 
Lewis. Double. Back over to English. Back over to Lewis. Dash long distance and hits. And when Justin Lewis starts hitting the threes, it's a wrap. Gray for three. He missed it. Going to go back to Polly. 68-44 game. English brings it up, drives pass, kicks it back over to Walker. Lewis now. Lewis pulls up. That one tipped and missed. And Gray got it. He brings it up now. Gray, pick and roll. Got it in there to Hughes. Cutting the lead down to 16. Anyway, cutting the lead down to 18. My apologies. Lindsay. Back over to English again. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound back to Walker. Back over to Lindsay. He pulls up. He hits. From the golf course there. St. Low Drive. He hit that one. And the engineers doing it all now. Pull up jumper. That one didn't go. Offensive rebound to Gray. Gray pulls back. Gray against Lindsey. Gray blocked away by Walker. Ball back the other way, out of bounds, and Polly will keep it. So with 2.39 left. See a lot of reserves come in. Engineers going to go to three and two, two and zero oh in the Baltimore City Division. And Lakers will drop their first game in Baltimore City Division one play. Both teams, like I said, we will see the Lakers as well against Delaney at the uh, Basketball Academy. So, Lakers coming up to the line again. 2.22 left. First shot, not there. Not there. Second shot here. That one front end miss. Balls everywhere. Finally Hammer with the rebound off the glass and in. That was a good one. Lindsay. That goal was out. Allison and now Lindsay from downtown. Hits it! Oh, net there! It was all net. Lead to 26. Again, the score will not indicate the closeness of this game. Three and a half quarters. Inside! And a foul. Two shots still for the Lakers. First shot here. Got it. Second shot. In and out. Ball grabbed there by Beretta. Lindsay stepped out of bounds as he was trying to get the ball back to Beretta. And the Lakers get the ball back. 
134 left in this one. Inside is him and off the glass, he gets it in. Stuffing the stats now at this point. But Polly getting it done. They're going to go to three and two here on the young season. One of the top rankings here in the state. If he was running about. Lindsay from way downtown. Front end miss. And hand the ball back to uh, the Lakers. Got to give props to Polly. Uh, playing St. John's on Saturday. That's a three from Gray. That one tipped and missed. Hammett inside, got it in. Timeout by the Lakers. They're still down by 21. That's a 74 there. So the next time you see us live here on the Dice Money Network is on January the 5th. Coming your way from the Hoops Festival down at uh, St. Francis, the third annual. Boy, we expect some matchups there in that one, boy. We got a lot of schools from the area, as well nationally as well. Coming out one of the two, one of the three tournaments actually we're going to be doing here on the Dice Way Network in January. On the same day, we have the third Windy City versus Charles City Challenge and the third day of the Baltimore Basketball Academy as well. So, the Ice Way Network is going to be red hot coming your way. And I hope you stay tuned. Subscribe to the videos today. And like our newly official Facebook page, Die Sporting Network. Until the engineers get it back. 47.1 left. Parker brings it up. Side, that's a foul. Thirty-five seconds left, and Tyron Bretha shooting two. Both teams, of course, over the foul limit. First shot, got it. Second shot, got it. Both of them in. Hammett kicks it back over. Harris for three, that one front end miss. Up in the air, Harris gets it back. Jump ball with 21 seconds left. And the Lakers will keep it. Back over, got it in. How about that play there by Tiggle? 21 point win for the Pali Engineers, the two time defending 3A champions. Avenge one of their only losses of a year ago here at Lake Clifton. The Lakers suffer their first defeat of the young season, and they're going to drop the 5 in 1. So our final. Polly wins by 21. 55 to 76 as Polly wins it as the road team. So we say so long to you here on the Ice Money Network. Catch us out. We got some more games coming your way here before the new year. And you stay tuned. Subscribe and 
check out the Nice Money Network on all the social media pages. So long and see you down the road. This is Die Sporting Network.